I'm Karen Rice David and I'm giving you an example of how to film your 2021 Broward 4-H Community Fair exhibits. Because it's virtual, we're asking for a photograph of your exhibit. That way we can compile them all and make a slideshow of all the exhibits. It'll be really nice to see. We're also asking for a video from you. To prepare for this, please look at the rubric for your specific exhibit because then you'll see what's expected not only in the video, but also for the item standards. And it's nice to incorporate some of those standards into your video because then you know you've thought about it ahead of time. You might also convey those to the judges during your interview, but it would also help if you already have thought about them and they're also in your video. So I'm doing this in one long video, but I will make another video example where I cut my video into segments for you. So I'm filming this on Zoom, but you can also use your phone or tablet or even an old fashioned digital camera. So what I would do is I would introduce myself. I'm Karen Rice David. I'm a senior 4-H member. I've been in 4-H for two and a half years and I'm in a really great 4-H club. And my exhibit this year is this ceramic clay bowl that I've made. And I made this in an art class. And to do this, I rolled out my clay flat and then I uh, folded it up to make that bowl shape. I made it kind of flat on the bottom and made this rim here. So that way it would help stand it up. And I used a knife to cut the edges up here. And I tried to make this all uniform um, heights so that and widths. So that was challenging for me. I then used an engraving tool to make an edge, a groove along the rim of the bowl. And that makes this uh, green wavy design. And then I made feet for my bowl because I wanted to sit on a table and I wanted somewhere to put my keys and loose change when I came in the door. So to make the feet, I rolled out lines of clay and then I rolled them up into coils. And then when all the clay was still wet, I used some water to make an extra little paste, kind of a glue, to glue these feet onto the bottom of my pot. So it was all formed, it went into a kiln and it was fired and that helps it keep its hard shape. And then I painted it. And one thing that challenged me was that I made it a little too thin up here and it cracked. And I learned that afterwards that it's very important to make it very thick or thick enough that when it's so hot, it doesn't crack. So that happened in a couple of places, but I ended up choosing paint that kind of had this old uh, antique look to it. So I think that the cracks actually add to the look after all. So that was something that surprised me um, as I kind of like the look of the cracks in there. Um, I think it adds to the look. And this is related to my 4-H project because in 4-H I want to try new things. And this was something new for me. I'd never done ceramics before. I didn't know anything about it and I want to keep doing that in 4-H. I want to keep trying new things and testing what I'm able to do and building on my skills. So that's how this relates to 4-H for me, even though my club doesn't do ceramics. This was important. This was an important skill for me of trying new things and uh, challenging myself. So this is my clay bowl. I hope you like it. Thanks.